green water from chlorine pucks? Well, I mean, it absolutely could be a thing. Do you use chlorine pucks and do you have green water in your swimming pool? If you do, there's a very high likelihood that the problem that you're experiencing relates to cyanuric acid. Chlorine pucks are stabilized and the stabilizer is cyanuric acid. This is something that we have to maintain in swimming pool water and the recommended range is 30 to 50 parts per million. The reason you have to have this is if you didn't, the sun would just burn off all of your chlorine every day. No matter how much chlorine you have, the noonday sun will deplete the chlorine that you have by about half every hour. That is, unless you have a stabilizer or cyanuric acid at 30 to 50 parts per million in the water. Now here's the problem. Chlorine pucks, by and large, contain a large amount of stabilizer. Every time you add a chlorine puck to the water, you're adding chlorine, but you are also adding stabilizer, and an appreciable amount at that. So what you need to, to know is that if you have green water and your primary source of chlorine is chlorine pucks, there's a very high chance that your cyanuric acid level has risen above 30 to 50 parts per million. It could be 80, 100, 150 parts per million. And while there are some people who think that that is okay to have cyanuric acid levels that high, you would have to know that you can have high cyanuric acid levels so long as you increase your free chlorine in ratio with those high cyanuric acid levels, which would mean at 100 parts per million cyanuric acid, you would need 5 or 7.5 parts per million of free chlorine just to have the minimum amount to stop your pool from turning green. That's all some pretty deep science stuff and what you should really take away from this is know that 30 to 50 parts per million is the ideal deal range for stabilizer in your pool. Once you achieve that amount, 30 to 50 parts per million, you should stop using chlorine pucks because chlorine pucks are stabilized and every time you add them you're adding more stabilizer. This puts you into a cycle of eventually needing to partially drain and refill your pool with fresh water to lower that cyanuric acid level and that's not ideal for a lot of pool owners. So no with pool pucks or with chlorine pucks you're going to get into that situation where your cyanuric acid levels get too high. There are other options that you can use for chlorine and the best bet for you is set your cyanuric acid level at 30 to 50 parts per million and then switch to a type of chlorine that's unstabilized, such as liquid chlorine, unstabilized chlorine, even chlorine from a saltwater system would be a better option in that regard. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.